And Canfield Fair coverage. You know, the fair started in 1846. Struthers United Methodist Church started in 1886. For nearly 60 years, they had a common bond, but this is the second year that it was broken. Earlier this week, I told you the number of vendors was down. Today, I found out why one of my favorite stops was missing. The Struthers United Methodist Church food trailer is sitting in the church parking lot, not in its customary position near the rock. It's been a regular at the fair, serving tasty sloppy joe since 1962, uninterrupted until last year. You guys actually had a camera shot off of the uh, uh, stadium looking down, and we could see our void space, and it was kind of like, I can't watch this. It's, it's hard. The church didn't return this year, running into a problem covering the 70-plus shifts during the fair. Some were also nervous for health reasons. The trailer was a big part of the church's outreach. We're not professional concessionaires, so we, we put our huge outlay and then count on a return. So we would generally double what we put out. Those thousands of dollars would allow it to partner with United Methodist Church on Volunteers in Mission. The youth wall at the church shows some of the places they've been, hit by natural disasters or economic downturn. One recent trip was to North Carolina, where two sisters had been praying for help with a home filled with mold after a hurricane. We actually think we're the ones coming down there to do the work, and yet they did the work to us, showing us what faith and strength can be. Returning to the fair next year is a possibility. Pastor Doug and the church know people miss the food, and they miss providing hope, help, and healing to people in desperate situations. It is crushing not to be able to go out and, and do that kind of work in those people's homes and lives. The church had thought about using more plastic in the trailer windows to ease health concerns, but ultimately it just didn't have enough workers. It will try to return next year.